Hi guys, it's a little before two. I think that clock needs new batteries. It's about three minutes slow. Anyway, I thought I'd show you my view from my office here. We have these screens on the front windows. As you can see, I can still see through them real well, but it prevents people from looking in. They can see through them at night when the lights are on in here, but during the day, people they, nobody can see in through them. Um, and it helps if the sun were to shine. Oh, look who's coming. I better show you this side now quick because, uh, you know, excuse me. well, it won't be blocked. He'll pull back. He moved the picnic table and everything behind the RV. Now that we're forward, we have most of our space out there. Better open the screen because it just wants to record the screen. There. There's my view. You can see her behind the house. There's that. With the wheel. Pete just pulled in. So I can see it. And here's Chewy on my lap looking for. You. Yes, Dad's here, Chewy. He's here, Chewy. You can see all the way down to the road. I don't know if you can see traffic. The car just went by. So that's good. And right behind the flagpole there is our old spot. You can see where the grass is brown where we were parked last year. Um, but anyway, Pete just had to do some running around for the campground. Shut the screen again. And then across, there's number three, which is a pull through. They go, I don't know, there it is. They go right, pull right straight through. Mostly she uses it for people who are just coming in for one night, just passing through. Then um, there's four and five. Five is to the left of that yellow sign, and we had five and six the first half of last year. Um, so that gravel right in the middle of the screen there is, was where we were parked. And then I can see all the way down to the end. Pete's chair is there, but it doesn't matter because I can all that I'm not seeing is the bathroom, and it's fine. And actually, if we pulled up all those curtains, I'd be able to see just about everything with a quick swivel. So, yep, so here's my big view. I'm answering comments between bug calls, my speakers, my f the filthy dashboard, which I haven't watched yet, but I, I don't know where the time goes. Anyway, I have to get that done. And uh, that was for my lunch, and there's my uke. So, yep, that's that's my view from, I forgot what Pete called it earlier today. But that's where, that's where I am, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Hi, guys. It's uh, almost 11. We, left, we ate late tonight, so I can't go to bed yet. Pete's in there. And, uh, hey, you know, it's cool that blanket was on my mom when she died. And I really like the blanket. It's real soft on this side and it's lamb's wool on the other side. Real soft and fuzzy. But, you know, the gray shirt, sheet, well, there it is. Right next to me that I have covering this chair. It's gray and purple and white. But look, it's got snowflakes on it. And so does my mom's blanket. And it's gray and white, so... Um, you know, we had that hole that used to be where the TV was originally. And then whoever had it before just let, took the TV out and left a big hole. So now the blanket's over it. So the birds can't get in, you know, and stuff. But, um, I just think that's very cool. So I decided today I'm just going to leave it there instead of taking it down and putting it back up. So that's pretty cool. I'll probably arrange it a little more nicely. But anyway... It's, uh, I'm just sitting here thinking, you know, how nice and homey and cozy this, this house is. It just is nice. That's paper towel I gave to Maxwell today. <laughs> Often I'll take paper towel and shove part of it in Maxwell and part of it in Elliot's cage so the two of them can, like, pull at it. And kind of play with each other even though they're not in the same cage. Um... Yeah, I think I like my keyboard out like this, but I think with a big dog in here, it's going to have to go back flat against the the uh, couch and the bird. You know, I put it like halfway over there. So I think that's what's going to have to happen, which is fine. I mean, you know, 
Uh, but there's not a whole lot of room, like when she's going out. and She's a lot bigger than I thought she was, which is not a bad thing. Once again, I want to say, for the reason and the purposes that I'm getting her, I, and I may explain all that sometime, because it's not something I've talked about much. But anyway, her size will be um, a... Uh, an advantage and you know I was thinking and talking to Pete about it tonight that you know she's not lived in a house she's not going to know that you don't go in there and eat all the raw potatoes and lemons and onions and whatever else is. and she has food issues because she was starving and so you know she's not going to know that you can't jump up on the counter and take whatever you want <laughs> so She's not going to know that you don't, when you play, you don't haul the bird cages down off the shelf. So she's got a little training to go and it's going to be difficult. You know, we won't be able to leave her alone really at first because it's not like in a regular house where you can crate train a dog. Although I don't have a crate for her, but you know, if we were at the house, I'd get one and I could train her that way. But she is so incredibly smart that I don't foresee an issue. I don't foresee a problem. And I really think that she will do well. Um, but she does have, there's going to be a lot of learning the first couple of weeks or the first month especially. So anyway, that is um, that's some of my thoughts for tonight. I'm looking, I'm really, really, really looking forward to getting her and getting started with her because she is so smart. She's smart as a whip. And I just really want to start making up to her, making it up to her, the kind of life she's had. So today after work, I did the bird cages, um, sorted the laundry, made us dinner, hurt my back. <laughs> what else is new? We've got, um, we're going to be at the house all day tomorrow. I'll work at the house and do the laundry. And I have a, uh, I had a rather pricey order from Amazon that last week was delivered to the house. And um, they had proof of delivery, but Pam said it never came. So um, I've got another order coming tomorrow and we're going to be at the house waiting. It's guaranteed delivery tomorrow. So Pete and I are going to go spend the time of the, the day at the house and, um, you know, get the package and I'll do the laundry and work. So that will be our day tomorrow. So anyway, I just wanted to say good night. I showed you my little area up there today and uh, my little office. You can see I got my speakers. The speakers are real li um, lightweight on that. My my computer but my little cup with the pens and scissors and nail file and everything so that's my office all right i will see you guys next time i don't know if it'll be tomorrow or when i'm going to go to bed shortly in three more days i'm going to wake up and i'm going to go get Maisie. so um i haven't been in touch with liz i don't really want to be a pest <laughs> But tomorrow night, I'll probably send her a note, say, tell Maisie, good luck with her surgery. <laughs> so and tell that doctor somebody loves her, better be careful. So I will uh, see you guys whatever next time is. So have a good hump day and take care. God bless and good night.